Hey, what's up, y'all? I just pulled up at Charles Drew Middle School. And if you guys have been studying any of your LA history, you know that everybody who came up on the east side of South Los Angeles at one point attended this school, Charles Drew. Even guys that grew up on the west side that may have gotten kicked out of schools over there attended Charles Drew. Now, back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, you know, this was a school that really kind of tested your manhood when you was a, a young lad going into what was called back then junior high school. Now, over the years, you know, all these schools in Los Angeles have kind of made a transformation into really some little mini academic institutions. And Charles Drew is actually one of those schools that is no longer a school full of gang members and thugs and and juvenile delinquents. It's actually a school that has turned around completely is made a 180. All right, I'm up here at Drew Middle School, and who am I with? Big Ed. And uh, what you doing right up here? Well, I'm, 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 I'm doing Baby, Brothers Against Banging Youths. And tell us what the program Baby's all about. It's about guiding the kids the other way besides gang banging. And that's a program that Bear started several years ago. Yes, yeah, about 10 years ago. And every single person that I've seen that's been doing this work is from some other neighborhoods, from some gang during the past, right? Yeah, exactly, and they changed their lives. And how is this so successful right now? Because everybody's has a positive attitude. And tell everybody where you grew up at. What neighborhood did you? I grew up on 62nd and San Pedro and Avalon. Who am I with right now? Bear. <laughs> OG Bear. Yes. And, and what you doing up here at Drew? Uh, got my organization, Brothers Against Banging Youth. We up here working with the kids, uh, re-educating them on uh, the street life, trying to get them in another direction, uh, getting them back in class, getting them familiar with doing the work and stuff like that. So we basically just up here working with our youth, trying to turn them around. And you're also providing some jobs for the homies. Yes, sir. I got 13 up here working right now. 13 from maybe like 10 different hoods, huh? Exactly. And uh, what's that been like for you? Uh, it's good, man, because you know who I work with is grown men, not, not gang members, grown men that's willing to step up here and say, look, man, we made bad choices, we showed you bad things, and we're trying to correct it with art and help you out and help you through this. All right, so so we're about to do an interview. Uh, what are we going to talk about in that interview? We're going to talk about changing your life. I went from, from elementary school to junior high to high school now. It took me until I turned 45 years old to really change my life, and I'm 55 now. And what was the biggest challenge for you, you think, during all them years? The, the biggest challenge was staying alive. You know, staying alive and staying positive attitude and, and stay away from penitentiaries. <laughs> so we got some softball games going on? Yeah, we did it last year and we're doing it this year. It lasts all the way until uh, about November. And, and we start up in June. It's, uh, it started out with six communities. We don't call them gangs no more, six communities. We brought uh, six different. We got uh, Santana's, 40s, 30s, 100s, Raymond's, 90s, East Coast's. And the neighborhood. the neighborhood. And then we got new teams coming in like the Faux Trades and the uh, Kelly Parks. Man, that's amazing. Or like the Nutty Blocks. And, and who's covering this? Like, is any mainstream media covering uh, this? No, no. We've been doing this on our own. This is how we keep the crap down in the summer. You know, we, we open in dialogue with each other. So if we got problems on the street, we can deal with the young dudes and get the, keep the um, gunplay down. And it's been working, man. All right. All right, I'm going to try to um, come check y'all out. That's Tay back there. She's trying to hide. Oh, okay. She's got them cute shorts on. He got it now. He know who it is right here on the side. That's my boy Bill. Uh -huh. I think every, them too. everybody know Bill. Bill. Come on, Bill. The Coasters is the Bill. Cubs. They go fry it out. Okay, so the Coasters uh, are the Cubs and the, uh, and, and the, the Hundreds. And the the hundreds are, they're the Orioles. The Hundreds. The Brewers. Brewers the Brewers, blue. Brewers okay. is, um, the Brewers are the 40s. The Rays is the Ravens. The Santanas is the Black Sox. The Twins is the 30s. The, uh, the Twins is the 30s. And the Mets is the Compton neighborhoods. And one more. 9-0 is the Yankees. The 9-0 is the Yankees. Now, is, is everyone playing this Saturday? Yeah, everyone. Every Saturday. Okay. Everyone. All right, man. I mean, you get to, hey, this is a, you see nothing but G's out there. So you get to really mingle with the older dudes. You know, the young dudes coming now, but they it's, they really don't be there. We trying to we trying to show them that it wasn't always like this, that we was beefing, that we could actually be around each other and don't have no problems. 
We don't walk up and greet each other like they're an Oak East Coast crib. We don't do that. <laughs> That's my home court. We just holler at each other and say, hey. All right, I'm definitely going to uh, check that out. And, you win if you come. And uh, everybody, make sure you check out this interview I got coming with Big Ed and Bear, Baby, Brothers Against Banging Youth. They're bringing jobs to the homies in the neighborhood, and they're bringing peace to this school and wherever else. What other schools have you worked at? I got uh, View Park uh, High, View Park Middle. I got View Park Elementary, uh, Thurgood Marshall, Frederick Douglass, Lou Danzler, Middle, and Elementary. All right, y'all. Make sure you check it out. We're about to have Horseman, Bethune, and John Muir. There you go. Coming to a school near you. Ha! <laughs>